Erin Brenhaus from the Wildflowers Creative Team, and this week our theme is princess art. Let's get started on this necklace. Okay, everyone, to get started, you're going to want to do two coats of ballet slippers on a nail. I've chosen a nice long coffin-shaped nail because this is a big design. Um, you could do it on a shorter coffin, salon coffin, any, any shape you want. Ballet slippers is what I went with for two coats, but you could really choose any background and then just put a layer of matte top coat on top of that so we have a good surface to draw on. Now what we're gonna do is create the shape of a woman's face and her neck so that we can give this princess a beautiful necklace. So all you need to do is grab your black artist gel paint from Wildflowers. We're gonna use that with our magenta brush. You might wanna put some out on a palette. So we'll take some with our brush. I'll grab that magenta detail brush and I'll dip in a nice glob just so that I have some on my palette like that. That's always an easy way to work, especially if you're creating super fine lines like we're gonna be doing right now for the face. All right, so I highly recommend getting a picture on your phone or computer or whatever you're working with to create to find a silhouette of a woman's face that you like. And then with almost no product on our brush, we're literally just dragging through a little tiny bit of black gel paint just to create the, the face. Okay, so you're going to decide where you want her chin to be and where you want her neck to be so that you have lots of space for the necklace. Okay, so I'm going to come down here, turn in for her chin. So that's just like the bottom of her face with her chin. We're going to thicken up these lines later. So take your time with this. Don't worry. Make some very, very thin lines so that you have just like a guide. We're going to give her a cute little chin and then turn up her side of the face like this. Make it a nice, cute, little heart-shaped face. And then take a little bit more gel on your brush, and we're going to make her neck. Now, you want the left side of the neck to be almost like where the chin starts to form. And make a line down and curved, because we're just going to create a shoulder like that. It's okay if it's not perfect because we're going to thicken up these lines later. And uh, if you're not exactly satisfied with what you have, don't worry about it. We're going to do the same thing on the other side, except we're going to go higher up, almost like to her ear, for this side of her neck. Bring the line down. And then curve out to form her shoulder. Okay. That's really good. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's just a great starting point. Um, we could even make her little ear, a little ear over there. And we can create some lines here to make it look like the shape of her neck just to give some detail. So I'm really satisfied with that. I'm going to pop this in the light for a 30 second cure before we move on. Okie dokie, here's our rough outline. What we're going to do now is thicken up those lines and uh, like fi fix anything that you wanted um, changed a little bit just by using a little bit more brush on our uh, gel on our brush. Sorry, not brush on our gel. I'm going to put some black and I'm just going to thicken up these lines. Start wherever you want. I'm starting with this neck. And still, keeping your lines super thin, not loading up the brush too much, but just we're going to come in and thicken up these lines a little bit. Just to create some details that really pop. Okay, we're going to just turn it around. I'll work on her chin now. Just thickening up these lines without becoming too thick. We still want to keep them nice and crisp. So I'm just rolling my brush in the Black Artist gel paint to make sure that I have 
just a minimal amount on there. So I just roll it, looks like that, and we keep working. There we go. It's looking good. Just take your time on these steps because these are the details that are really going to make her look like a woman, make her look like a princess, which is what we're looking for for this week's theme, super fun theme of princess art. I'm just going to gently go in and touch up the chin. All of this is still wet. Only the background, these fine little lines are cured, but we're working with wet gel paint in case we decide we want to come in and fix anything. I'm just going over the last part of her neck and shoulder. Perfect. We want to get all these lines done before we create her necklace because um, it's hard to start painting underneath crystals because we're absolutely going to be using lots of crystals today and our clear puffy gel. So if you guys haven't seen already, be sure to grab the promotion this week, the princess promotion. I'm going to cure that. Okay. Once this is cured, we are going to create some more detail on her face, which is we're going to give her some lips and maybe the little bit of a nose since we did do like quite a lot of her face. If you do just the bottom of her chin, you could probably just fit in a, 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 a set of uh, her lips without a nose. But it looks like today I did a little bit low, so I'm going to want to give her some some facial features. So I put just a minimal amount on my brush and we're going to lightly try to create her bottom lip just by creating a curved line. Just the bottom lip. And then it's almost like a flat wavy line across. Okay. And then her mouth is a little bit open. So we create a little line like that and then we're going to create her upper lip. I put a little bit more gel on my brush. And I want to create like a, a pout. So I'm just gently creating that shape. There we go. We got a nice pout there. I like that. And now let's give her a little nose, but we don't want anything big. This is a really simple um, princess face. We don't, we're, we're focusing on the jewelry of this design. So we're just going to do a little nose, a hint of a nose by just creating two little lines like that. Really just like a, a hint of a nose. Okay, now we're going to go in with the Red Artist gel paint just to give her some lipstick. Our princess needs some color on her lips. So let's open that up. We don't need much, so we could just dip into the lid. And I'm going to use my black mini mini brush so that I could just use the tiniest little brush to just color in her lips. So, dip in. A little, little tiny amount. It's literally like almost nothing. You can barely see it. There you go. That's a better focus. So I just took a tiny little bit and I'm going to color in her lips without getting that uh, middle section colored because that's like her open mouth. So just gently coloring in with the black mini mini brush. Try to have a light touch, and that'll be helpful to get that colored in well. Just get that little corner. Get this little corner. Perfect. That's good. We're going to pop that in the light for a cure. Okay, now's your chance to finish any part of the face that you want to make like uh, more detailed or darker so you can go back into the black artist gel paint i'm just taking a little bit on my magenta brush i'll just darken up the nose like so 
and I'll darken up the lips outline and that center part of the lips. Uh, the center part of the mouth is black. So I'm just going to go in there gently with my magenta color in her mouth. If you want, by all means, you can give her some, like a little bit of teeth, some white teeth, but it's totally up to you. It doesn't need to be that detailed. So I'm just gently going over the outline of her lips just to make them a little bit more pop in. I'm going to turn that over. Always make sure to get a good amount of gel on the brush without being too much gel so that you won't fight your gel. There we go. Perfect. Cute little mouth. Neck is good. I like the nose and the ears. I'm ready to cure. Okie dokie. Now's your chance to seal this in with your matte top coat. If you want, that is optional. I'm going to save it to the end because I like to um, encap like almost make sure that the clear puffy gel is encapsulated in matte so it doesn't look matte later. You'll see what I mean. So let's get started. So we're going to grab our clear puffy gel to apply her necklace. And we're going to put some on our palette. So I put a whole hunk of, you see it there, of clear puffy gel on my palette. And we are going to make her a necklace. So Lauren likes to dip into the clear puffy gel, but my clear puffy gel is almost empty and you don't want to waste. So I literally took my uh, spatula and spatula scooped some out onto the, onto the tray here, onto the little palette. And just like Lauren showed us earlier this week, I'm really going to swish. Oh, look, there's some, <laughs> there's some bullion in there. Let me get that off my brush. There we go. Move those to the side for later because we're actually going to use that. Okay. I just moved some of the bullion to the side. So I'm going to swirl this around and pick up a blob of clear puffy gel so that I could start laying down her necklace. So you decide where you want it to go. I want to make her a beautiful long chained necklace like that so i'm kind of just outlining it for now you could we're gonna put more puffy gel before we put the crystals but first i like to have the shape of the necklace down so we have this u shape coming down and we're gonna have a nice amount of gems coming off of that as well so i'm taking more puffy gel and I'm laying it at the bottom of this necklace, almost in like a in like a circular shape there. Okay. And now I'm gonna put a little bit more puffy gel on the necklace. On the chain, let's call it, of the necklace. Just so that we have where to put our gems we might need to come in and put more clear puffy gel but let's start with a general shape like this and i am going to use a whole bunch of a b crystals uh that are swarovski that i got from a canadian supplier so let me show you guys we have these gorgeous raindrop pieces how beautiful are those? And those are going to stick really nicely in our into our clear puffy gel. I can't turn that one over. It doesn't want to flip. There we go. So we have our beautiful raindrop shapes. And then we're going to grab a couple of sizes of AB uh, crystals in. I have size 9 and size 5. So I'm just going to put them out so that we could have them at our disposal. Those are the bigger ones. And here are the little guys. I've decided to go all with AB 
so that the necklace is all like one color, even though it has many shapes now. And we're also going to use the bullion pen. So let's also show you guys that. We're going to use the bullion pen. So we have all of our stuff going on. I like to have a little area where I have where I have everything that I need to go into the necklace. And we do have some um, some rogue here they are. Come back. Some rogue um, bullion that just escaped me. There we go. Now it's all in one nice pile <laughs> and we can get started. Whoops. All right. So we have our clear puffy gel. It's uncured. And what I like to use to pick it up is the Wildflowers uh, double-sided dotting tool. I just put a little bit of poster tack at the edge and then we could pick up our gems. So let's start with, I think I want to put, I want to do alternating sizes and squish that into the puffy gel. And I want to use these gorgeous raindrops as the bottom of her necklace, like so. Squishing that in there. We're going to create a beautiful necklace for our princess. So let's see. I'm going to do some smaller guys right next to this. these guys. We're making her a beautiful necklace. We could even put some bigger ones. No, you know what? I don't want the bigger ones. Let's get that off. I'm going to use the smaller AB crystals to create her necklace, um, her, her chain, because I just like the way that looks. And I'm going to leave a little bit of space in between each one so that we could put some bullion. And that's really going to tie the look together. So I'll just go up, squish it into the clear puffy that we already put down. There we go. We could just put a couple on each side. We don't need to make it too crazy. This is a nail after all. It's not an actual necklace. <laughs> so put whatever crystals you like to create a necklace. I feel like a jewelry maker today. It's super fun. Bring that up. Just making the shape the way I like it. And now I am going to bring this gel down and around this guy but I also want to I want to put another piece of the raindrop shape so I'm going to put a little bit more puffy there and let's pick up another draw raindrop make sure I'm putting it the right way oops there we go. Making her a crazy necklace fit for a princess. Remember, this is all wet. So you can take your time, move it around. And I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. We'll just move that gel. That's over here, this extra gel. And we're going to just move it down which fills in that gap here so that it's nice and safe pull it down for the next guy and we'll add a little bit more a little bit more puffy on our brush so that we have what to squish that into and we'll go pick up another guy Ooh, that's starting to sparkle. I love it. All right. Those are perfect. Now we're going to go in. And don't worry about clear puffy gel showing on the sides. You can actually take your magenta. And without touching the facets of your crystal, you don't want to cover the facets and, and lose that sparkle. 
go around. This cures tack free and we're going to make it look matte after so it won't even show. So that way you just want to make sure your crystals are super secure. You just go around with some clear puffy. Make sure that those are secure. Okay. And you can always go back and adjust before curing. So sparkly. I want to get this guy a little bit more centered and higher. That's better. All right, now we're going to add some bullion. This is all still wet, uncured. We have our bullion out. We can just pick it up with our stylus, with our uh, dotting tool. And like I said, I wanted to put them in between my gems. I left a little bit of space. And I'm putting them in between our crystals. Oh, did I not pick one up there? It helps if I pick one up. <laughs> All right, there's one side. We're going to adjust it soon. We just want to get them on. Get them in there. So I'm just going in between each spot that I left bare. Making it super dainty and beautiful. And we can even fill in some gaps that we have towards the center of the necklace. And now we adjust and get those bullions squished into the clear puffy. You really want it squished in there and then it'll cure beautifully. I'm just adjusting the whole necklace before curing, making sure everything is where I want it. Taking a good look that you like what you see. And that looks super princessy to me, super regal. I love it. I just want to make sure everything is placed perfectly before curing. All right. Let's pop that in the light for a cure. Okay, now it's time for our finishing touches. <laughs> I have a few little ones that I highly recommend that is going to bring this nail completely to life, even though it looks gorgeous the way it is now. She is a princess, so we are going to give her a little bit more jewelry. She has an ear. So we're going to put a little dollop of clear puffy gel down. I don't know if I put enough there. Let's make sure we put enough. There we go. And I'm going to pick up one of the tiniest ABs from the crystals I was using. Or you could use a bullion, a piece of bullion, whatever you prefer. And squish that in there. She needed an earring, no? There we go. <laughs> Put it a little lower so you could see her ear. Awesome. I'm going to pop that for a quick cure, and then I'm going to show you the last little bit of detailing that we have left. The last step is to take your matte top coat, and we're going to uh, seal in the whole nail, including any exposed parts of clear puffy gel. So we're going to leave some matte here on our palette that we're going to use in a second. But we can begin by making our ma nail matte without touching any of our crystals, okay? So you want to be careful. Take all the excess off your brush. Make sure it's not too loaded. And gently push along these crystals without covering them, okay? I'm just going up next to them like that, really gently. And I want to cover everything on the nail except for the crystals if this part is too complicated for you you could definitely um mat the nail once you've cured the face and then you'll just have to add some matte top coat around um around the clear puffy gel that's exposed later and it will be a little bit easier but i find 
it easier to actually eliminate a step and to just do it this way. So I'm just going into all the areas that show uh, ballet slippers gel polish. So I'm going there. I got a little bit on my crystal, so I actually just wiped it off. And I'm going up over all of the exposed parts of ballet slippers gel polish, the, the nude pink pinkish beige gel polish that I used. And now while it's still wet, you see the matte top coat is wet. We're going to grab our magenta brush one more time. Let me just clean it off. And like I said, we do have some matte top coat on our palette right there. So we're going to use some matte top coat, get it on our magenta brush. And that's a little bit too much. I do not want a big ball of it. See, I just want a nice amount, just a thin amount. And I'm going to go in and trace everywhere that the clear puffy gel will be exposed so that it won't look shiny. So I'm just going around the design, around the crystals and the bullion just to make sure that there's a little bit of matte top coat sealing in all of the clear puffy gel. You don't need a lot. You just need to do this carefully and uh, try not to get any matte top coat on your crystals. That's why the magenta brush is perfect for this because it is so tiny and detail, uh, detailed that it is awesome. All right, so we've gone in. We should be good. I just want to maybe get these spots right there in between the crystals so that just the crystals shine and the rest of the nail looks matte. So let's pop that in the light for a final cure. And there we are. Look how cute that is. It's not showing any shiny, annoying gel showing through. It just looks like a necklace. I hope you guys love this technique and give it a try for Princess Week. Be sure to use our hashtag WFPrincess and we will see you on the next theme. Bye, guys.